ABC 24 News, Central Valley's news station. There's a possibility that in 12 days he may be coming home. New hope tonight for a Fresno soldier jailed in Mexico for more than a month now. Good evening, I'm Rich Rodriguez, and thanks for joining us on this special edition of KC24 News at 8. A Mexican judge says he will rule within 10 days on the case of a Fresno soldier who made a wrong turn on the way home to Fresno and ended up in Mexico. It's the latest in our exclusive investigation. Preston Phillips reports. For Iraq war vet Richard Medina Torres, it's been a long and confusing last five weeks. Just last Tuesday, May 20th, when he appeared in front of a federal court judge in Juarez, Mexico, he was informed that his appeal process, which should have been completed on Monday of last week, would start all over again on Monday of this week. I mean, it's like a roller coaster ride. It's like you're clenching, your stomach clenches when you know you're going over those hills, and, and it's exactly what we're doing here. But yesterday, just one day after the appeals process began, again, U.S. consulate officials meet with the Mexican magistrate in the Federal Court of Appeals. His mother says after that meeting, a U.S. consulate official dropped by Richard's prison cell to tell him what the judge had decided to do next. He said that he would um, give you a fair and quick decision, and so in 10 days you're going to be knowing. And then he said, and it'll take one or two days to process you out. And so then my son said, it sounds like I'm getting out of prison. And he said, it sounds like it, huh? And that's where he left it. He didn't say yes, he didn't say no. If that's not the case, then we begin to put up pressure to, 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 to let this guy go. And I think that's when we go to the administration. And we will use any, any avenue that we have available to us to make sure it happens. Congressman George Radonovich has been monitoring the soldier's case for the past few weeks now, along with military officials from all over the country. The support for him in his plight and his family here in, in Fresno is, no, is very great. I mean, we're, we want to see this thing through and get him out of there just as quickly as, he, as, as we can. But he says it's important to give the Mexican courts a reasonable amount of time to work through their judicial process before any new measures can be taken. We're set to, to ramp up our pressure uh, on the country to, to get this veteran back home. Something Gloria Medina feels will happen soon. Well, I feel like now they're really believing his story, like they have nothing more to hold him on. Preston Phillips, KC24, Central Valley's news station. His mother says the Army has canceled her son's deployment orders to Honduras. They want him to report back to Fort Hood if and when he is released from prison. 